to actually put in a request to have metal playing during their uh, match. So we'll see if the DJ. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Give them what they want. Right. Absolutely. With both of these guys. Um, it's interesting. There it is. Andre is a little bit of a, you know, muscle guy, got good technique. And Valentin is a little bit more of a technical guy that's going um, gonna, to gonna commit to a lot of uh, submissions and go after it. Guys right now, they're just kind of hand jockeying with each other. Ooh, interesting. That was really kind of interesting. A shot into a leg lock, back to a shot. He, yeah, he pulled him in side control and then came back up. I mean, the position he worked out for him because now he's and on the cage and this is a. a no, well, it did he, work out. He did the important <coughs> thing. He made his opponent step. He did a really dramatic step, pulled yep. him off balance, and he was able to get on that leg. You know, Andre has competed here before he won. Um, Valentin's first time here, but he's no stranger to competition. He's fought for Combate Global. He's fought in front of a bunch of people. So, and Andre too. Andre has a lot of fights. Yep. He's got the legs wrapped up, Khabib style. Josh is really good at all of the. Um, I mean, what people would say like the cheap submissions, right? Like he's got good sneaky hit, ones. Yeah, good sneaky submissions, and his guard's really active, and he's gonna attack the neck a lot. He's gonna attack the ankles a lot. And Andre, you know, is doing what he should do here, being heavy. Mm -hmm. um, Establishing his position. Andre, I believe, is like nine and two or nine and one as a pro. Yeah, he, athlete, he's wow. so very promising MMA career. I was speaking earlier. Dre likes to do a lot of cradling, a little more catch wrestling stuff. So I was just expecting to maybe catch the head and leg there. Yeah, but he went for the choke and lost position. So see if um, Valentin's able to hold him down. Uh, Dre's really strong. Uh, Valentin is strong, but Dre's just got that uh, like that country boy strength. Yeah, and he's at Iron Life. Strength training is a huge focus there, mm -hmm. as you know. So he's Diesel. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't Let give him the arm, the arm triangle. triangle there. Josh doing a really good job at maintaining. Nice. As I say that, he uh, kind of just old school yeah. reverses him. Yeah, Drake got the right underhook, that far outside underhook. And just kept and just, going with it. Yep. Like you said, old school. That's uh, one of the first escapes you learn you yeah. know, back in the day. I hate to say it, but you can actually hit a Darce off of that escape, too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, Darces are everywhere. I, was I said it's ubiquitous. What you're seeing in, in the UFC, it's becoming more of a common submission. Submissions are happening less, but it is one, one of the of most common MMA submissions. Yeah. I've, when I watch amateur amateur MMA events, I don't think I've called one yet, actually, but just the ones I've watched, a lot of people hit Darce and Anaconda. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of transitions to that, especially, um, you know, get a good sprawl going and, and you're going for different yeah, most of them. Locks. Most of them are hit off a of sprawl. Josh tries a flying guillotine. And Dre just laughs it off. Back to hand fighting. And this is a brown Josh, belt match, so they have seven minutes, right? Got solid head position here. I believe so. I think just the last yeah. four or ten. Oh, yeah, it's oh, actually ten. Belt. Yeah, Black belt, my, my apologies. And, and even the brown and purples are ten minutes for yeah, this last Andre's four. Yeah, Andre's a black belt. Joshua is a... Um, Brown belt, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Three, four strike. Almost got that Kimura grip. Let's see yeah, if he tries to yank that out. Ooh. Oh. He just Over threw him top. with it. Yeah, man, that was a, uh, I always worry about shoulders in those positions. <laughs> yeah. Earlier when Kenny's chin yeah, got hit. Church, so church was almost. About was that the shoulder to the face? No, when Kenny, uh, he went to sprawl and the kid had a nice fake. And, and hey, this went. is a good guillotine here. Oh, yeah. Really good guillotine attempt. He's got to get those hips involved, though. He's got to get those hips involved. Yeah, he's got to sprawl in, basically. Yeah. And Dre's doing the right thing, fighting against the hips. Oh, he should have kissed him. I think he yep. should have stayed on the hips because now Josh can get his hips in. If Josh does get his hips in. And I think he wants to get back to his back, actually, get to his hip. And he's got a ninja choke maybe here if he can get his That's hand still in. really tight. If he can it's, figure out what yeah. to do with it, it's it in just there. just doesn't have the uh, other he's hand. He's broken take. the grip, though. Great job by Dre staying calm there. Yeah, that is not a, an easy position to stay calm in. It's like you feel someone's arm all the way across your throat. Yes. <laughs> and that was almost a mistake. Like it, like you said, he should have stayed on the hips, but of course, yeah. it's a catch-22. You do yep. defend the neck or defend the position. And great job keeping that hook, able to keep the back, because uh, Andre was about to escape. 
you know, but he a, followed through with it. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, Josh does have pretty solid back control. And, and um, um, I wonder if he's pushing back into him. I was just going to say, I wonder if he'll look for the body triangle. We've seen it all night. There it is. There it goes. But Dre put it on the floor, which a lot of people have been forgetting to do. It's exactly what Very you need important. to do. But Josh has his leg in between his two legs. And it looks like Dre's trying to put an ankle lock there. It's, there's not really an ankle lock there. No, that's um, that's only when they cross, not when they, they cross, triangle. Not when they body triangle leg in the middle. Body triangle leg in the middle. And there he goes. Switches it to the other side. Uh, Dre has not yet addressed that. There he goes. Starts to address it. And I think he needs to do what you brought up earlier, of pushing off the hip if he wants yep. to set up that triangle because he doesn't quite have the angle. Yeah. I liked how Josh used that outside hook of Dre's leg to regain two hooks and now body I think triangle. That's you get the cold one. Yeah, Josh is doing a really good job here. And this is promising. You know, if they do go to overtime, Josh can feel pretty confidently. If he wants to, he can take the back or he can, you know, go and Dre on, have Dre on his back. Right. Yeah, he knows he can control him here. He knows that he can keep him from getting out. Mm -hmm. So maybe even Brock, if he doesn't submit him, he knows he's good at holding him there. Yep, and Brock Reynolds was a good example of that earlier. He had Keith Speed back right. for two, three minutes. That was the story of the match was that body Looks like he's got a nice hand-to-hand. -hand. He's, he's palm got this palm. choke. It doesn't look quite on the neck. He's it still might be turning. A, he's still, he's gonna he's have still to fighting for face. it. He's pushing that arm across. he got a really bad that, angle here, but... Man, that is deep for sure. He's sideways now. Yeah, and he's out. Dre takes deep breath. So Dre's been in a couple deep submissions here, but he's escaped them. And um, I keep seeing this this reoccurring theme that the guy who gets beat up the most in regulation is the guy who wins in overtime. So it'll be interesting how this goes. And again, it's that energy conversation. Do you do you go for it over and over yeah. and waste that energy and maybe yeah. lose overtime, or do you play it safe and save it for overtime? Now Josh is on top. This is north south is probably one of my favorite positions. You don't see used too often, but it's so nice to control I was the just guy and yeah, switch and side especially side. Especially they're control. strong and they're uh, woo, able to just push Ooh. you off of them like that, you know. Big breath by Dre. He took two deep breaths when they disengaged. And Josh does not look tired at all. It looks no. like he's pushing the pace. He went right for him. Pressure starts snapping him down yeah, here for a, a good snap front down headlock. Too. Very nice. He can spin behind. Yeah, looking for his back again. I yeah, think, I think Dre's showing some fatigue here all of a yeah, sudden. Dre's I think that's like blood in the water for uh, Josh right now. He saw him take those deep breaths, and he yeah. went right into it. Now he wants to turn this into his bottom hook. Yeah. Top hook is always easier to I escape, so now he's made it his bottom hook, and now now he's safe to get that second hook in. You always oh, want to have the bottom in. hook. That's tight, but he's on the wrong side. Yeah, you want to choke on the side that's on the hip. There he goes. That's going to be – that's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's under. Wow. Woo! And it's important to note that Josh took that on, like, two days' notice. Oh, wow. Excellent for him. All right, he did not look unprepared at all. Oh, he's no. been training. There's yeah. no doubt about that. He's been training. Sometimes taking stuff on short notice is good, especially if you've been training. for the. Me, I'm a mental – I'm a head case, so short notice things are – kind of better. I know right. exactly what you mean. I'm the same way. It's like it's too much time to think about it. He doesn't have that time to think about it. Not to mention, you're probably training hard when you don't have a match. You take it easy, and it's like, oh, you know what? I'm in good shape, and if he's not injured, it's like, yeah, it's a great, great time to take a fight. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you do train because you're training so hard for Ladies the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, you end up here is injured. your right. winner Something out of the tweaked. red corner, We all know fighters Joshua don't go to fights 100%. Never, never. It's a blessing to come in there not hurt. Right. 